the truth will set you free. Jesus spoke this powerful idea, and the idea of truth came up for us in our Good Life Journal today. We've been going through the book of Proverbs, and this interesting verse came up, which said this. It said that the, the upright fear the Lord, but those who are devious despise him. And it just got me thinking about what it looks like to live in a way that is devious and thinking about the words of Jesus when he said the truth will set you free. So I want to look at quickly just two areas of our life modeled after what Jesus taught that the first and greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the second is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. So what does truth look like in these areas? Well, first, I would say we need to challenge ourselves to live in the truth of Jesus because if the truth is going to set us free, ultimately, that's out of the root of the idea that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Now, for you and I, that impacts our relationship with God because we should be deeply concerned about who God truly is, who Jesus truly is. So my fear is that often in our lives, instead of following Jesus, we're actually following a mythical version of Jesus that we've created, and often a Jesus that agrees with us where we want um, to be agreed with. But to truly follow him, to truly have freedom in the truth, we need to know who Jesus really is. So my first encouragement would be that. Let's dig into the word of God. Let's know who Jesus truly is. With our relationships around us, what would it look like to live in the truth? Well, I know we're confronted with lies all the time. We believe lies about ourselves. We believe, believe lies about other people, the intent that they have, not believing um, the best in them, not treating them the way that we would want to be treated. And I would encourage us as a church family that there is freedom in truth, that when we feel like we have to be deceitful, when we feel like we have to conceal truth, more than likely we are in the wrong. So as a people, let's experience the freedom of truth in our relationship with God and also our relationship with others, knowing that if we have that, ultimately the truth will set us free.